It's small now, but Daniel O'Neill at the Ethan Allen Homestead Museum hopes to grow the display of Native American culture. Ethan Allen lived on this, this site for two years. Uh, and the Abenaki lived here for thousands of years. Museum organizers launched this month-long exhibit featuring wampum belts in honor of the reimagining day. of Columbus Day. Vermont's Governor Phil Scott proclaimed Monday, October 8th, 2018, Indigenous Peoples Day. But not everyone is celebrating Indigenous Peoples Day. President Donald Trump tweeting about Columbus Day. In his tweet, the president honored what he described as the spirit of determination and adventure. But Democratic Senator Debbie Ingram thinks it's important to acknowledge the people who lived here before Columbus arrived. Swapping out our respect for Indigenous peoples for uh, the white settlers who came and exploited them, we've, we've made a trade-off that I think is really unacceptable. Ingram says if she's re-elected, she'll work to reintroduce a bill that would replace Columbus Day with Indigenous Peoples Day permanently in Vermont. I have great respect for Indigenous peoples uh, and their culture, and um, we have uh, a strong legacy of them contributing a great deal to our state, and so I really look forward to them um, getting a day that recognizes that. It's a good start to, to honor and respect Native people in Vermont, so I don't want to downplay that. But I really would like to see how are we improving the lives of minority people in Vermont and Indigenous people in general. Don Stevens, chief of the Nulhegan Abenaki tribe, says partnerships like the one with the Ethan Allen Homestead Museum are a good start, and O'Neill agrees. This is something that we needed to recognize and respect and honor.